Hello everyone, Gustavo Mendes here. And today we're going to be talking about installing Nucoda in Phoenix and what the differences are. I have here both softwares open and we're just going to click on next. And the first page is the same, so please read the release notes. There's some good information here with the documentation. But if we click next, you're going to notice a difference. Phoenix now, you have to choose which version of the software you actually have a license for. So just make sure you choose the correct version. And then if we click on next again, we're going to land on the exact same page. And I'm just going to close Phoenix here for a moment. And looking at Nakoda, what we have here is installation drivers and setups for the precision control panel, the precision color panel, meaning only the middle section with the trackballs. We have a wall hall control panel as well. But just remember that this is considered legacy. There's no development being done anymore. So certain functions might not be mapped for this panel. We have tangent element and arc panel support. If you actually install this, you get all the setup and all the settings for these two panels. We actually work with any panels from Tangent, but you might need to do your setup yourself using the Tangent Mapper software. We also install, if you want, the Thor driver, which is the PCIe card that does the 4K real-time clarity along with some other DVOs. We have the AJA video driver with the version that has been tested and approved. So please install this version unless we tell you otherwise. We have an option to install QuickTime 7 if you need some legacy codecs. And you can install the digital vision wallpaper. And from here, if you click next, just follow the instructions and you should be good to go with the beginning of the installation. If you have a Blackmagic I.O. card, please go to Blackmagic Design support website and download the latest version of the desktop video software. After installing the software, we're going to have two new folders on your C drive. So if you go to C, you're going to have a new Nucoda folder and inside the program files, we're going to have another Nucoda folder right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to run the software for the first time. I'm going to accept and I'm not going to create a new user right now, but that's what we could do. I'm going to click on OK. And what's going to happen here is it's going to ask us for our license file. So you probably have this on your email and right here, the system ID is your Mac address for your system. So we're going to click on OK. And I'm going to open a window right here. And I have my license right here. If you open the license, it's just a text file. And here, all we're going to ask you to not change anything that it's written on this file. Because if you try to change any dates, if you try to change any of the sequences of the numbers here, the license server will not identify it. And that may cause problems for you to install other versions. And do not change your date on Windows because that might cause an issue and you might need to reinstall Windows completely for us to actually be able to see your computer correctly again. After that, all you need to do is go to your C drive. Inside Nucoda, you have a license folder. Just drag the license you received here. Doesn't matter the name of the file. You can close our window here and we're gonna open the code again. And I'm not gonna create a user right now. I'm gonna click on okay. And it's going to give you the message asking me to actually set up some folders for media cache and everything else. We're going to do that in a minute. So I'm going to ignore it. And here we are in the main interface where you select projects. You have a system option here so you can do a test, you know, for speed of your disks. 
and we have our preference files. We have an option to do batch renders. We're going to talk about that later. And you actually have a button about. And we actually, if you click on licenses, it will give you an information for all the licenses included in the license file you received on your email. If you ever need to uninstall the software, just go to your C drive and delete the Nucoda folder and inside program files, delete the Nucoda folder as well. You're going to notice that after the installation, we're going to create these two shortcuts for you to be able to open the software. And there's a precision emulator as well, if you want to use it. And we create a folder with all the documents related to that released and general information about the software and some links to the online manual and everything related to our knowledge base and support portal.